So we gotta drill this hole. We drilled these holes. Same thing. I use the drill press. It's easier to use the drill press. If you don't have a drill press, you just gotta take your time and do it by hand. Fossener bit is the best way to drill these big holes. This is an inch and a quarter. These are three quarters. And I just put it on the drill press. I'm gonna get a little noisy. Line it up. I've already struck centers, so that helps me. You get through. I have a table here, but my insert is a little worn out, so I was getting uh, some tear out on the back. So this is the front, this is the back. So putting a block of wood and depending on how many you have to make, you need to move it around. Uh, don't keep drilling at the same hole because you'll get tear out on the back here. So that looks good. Let's go over to the drill press. Here at the drill press, or the table, the bandsaw. Get the bandsaw. <laughs> So what you're doing is just, I'm just following the line on the outside of the line and I'll just sand this on my drum sander and work to the line. And this is, you know, I'm just, uh, you're kind of doing each one sort of uh, freehand. You know, you're checking them and as you're sanding and just making sure that your contour is pretty the same and smooth and then just cut out the inside for the glass same way you cut the outside you can do this if you don't have a drill press or a bandsaw you can do it with a a uh, jigsaw you just need to be you know you just need to take your time and uh, don't hurry through this process you can also make a template and use a hot most of the material way and use a router too let me get to this. All right, so here's my last steps. I rounded over all the edges, chamfered the center. This would be the bottom. This would be the top. Rounded over the edges. I need to still uh, sand, uh, finish sand, and smooth out these uh, little notches. But here it is on the bottle. So, listen. Um... <laughs> See that? I messed it up. Even I mess up. Everybody messes up. Don't be afraid to mess up. Um, so basically I had two pieces uh, that this one and this one that were kind of, I had a lot of blowout here from drilling that hole. So I was just trying different things. Uh, and I finally wound up just using a chamfer bit to chamfer this out and the chamfer bit has a roller bearing which is nice because it rides the inside of that uh, groove there. Sand that up and then be done with it. Uh, basically a quarter, I think an eighth inch round over on all the edges. Just give it a quick sand, sand off all my marks. Yeah, it still needs some sanding. But uh, basically, that's it. And then the glasses go on the ends. That's it. We'll take a picture when we're done. Got to get the sand in now. <laughs> all right. Well, we're all done. So I made 13 all together. And you saw in the previous uh, little segment that, you know, even I mess up. So I messed these up. Um... 
I was just trying different things here and wasn't working out. Uh, and then you saw that little gouge thing there. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, uh, you know, you don't pay attention. You got to pay attention. So I didn't pay attention and uh, to my router height. And my router bit took a chunk out of that thing. So, but uh, it was messed up to begin with because of what I was trying to do here to round those over and what I did here trying to do too. Uh, didn't work. So, you always lose a couple in your project. And uh, I don't know. I can't see uh, saving these, but uh, you never know. One day I might find a way. So here they go. There's a couple more in the other room drying. But, uh, so it's walnut and curly maple. All walnut. Mm. And, uh, some of the maple, or some of the, uh, walnut has sapwood. And that's what that is, sapwood. That's sapwood. Uh, that's sapwood. Uh, a couple coats of lacquer, spray lacquer. And, uh, hey, they're drying. So I'm going to get rid of these sell these and uh, if you're interested let me know they're pretty cheap so easy to ship shipping won't be much let me know if you're interested